Oxford have put a good little run together, unbeaten in six games before last week. Foyle, Magilton, good ball, Nogan. Trouble for Tottenham, great save by Torsvet. And a good shot by number 10, Lee Nogan. Hit it really well, and the Norwegian goalkeeper had to get down quickly to his right. And Oxford make a promising start. Forward by Howes, it was Andrew Melville who miskicked. Vinicus in behind him here. Corner to Spurs. Well, Walsh has placed the ball for the corner. Howells has come onto the six-yard line. Mabbott's also up. It's been played back to Gascoigne. Nice touch back to him too by Lineker. Foster's there, Mavitz there, Gary Mavitz! 1-0 Tottenham! Well, they look excited, but I think it's relief because that's the sort of start that Spurs really needed. Gary Mavitz, the captain, gets the opening goal and Terry Venables realises that that might just settle Tottenham down. Well, Gary Mavitz always goes up for corners and that fell really nicely for him off Foster, and he tucked it in the corner. Gascoigne's header, he's put Lineker in. Now, can the England captain finish? Yes, he can. Emphatically so. In real Lineker style. The England connection works for Spurs, it's Gascoigne and Lineker, and it's 2-0 in the 20th minute, and Spurs give themselves real breathing space in this cup tie, and Lineker, for whom they haven't been going in quite as regularly recently, will be really pleased with that. It's Gascoigne who wins the header, Lineker is played onside, I think, by Foster, Vasey starts to narrow the angle, and he drives that with power into the roof of the net, and good Work by Gascoigne in that. Got height on the jump, guided the ball through to Lineker. That's possibly the goalkeeper's view, and he had no real chance. Phillips. And Gascoigne now trying to get the ball from him. But good play by Phillips. Worked that beautifully. And he's found Martin Foyle. And there's a chance here for Oxford. And Foyle gets the ball in the net and gets it back to 2-1. in midfield, giving Oxford the opening to get back into the game through Foyle. Half an hour gone, Phillips won the midfield battle there, without a doubt. Lovely through ball, Tottenham are caught terribly square, it has to be said. Round towards Vett and nicely taken. So Martin Foyle gets Brian Horton's team back in the cup tie. Gascoigne finds Stewart, and there are four other Tottenham players forward here. This is Paul Allen. To his right is Naim. Waiting for Terry Fennick to go down the right. Back with Naim again. Gascoigne. Taking them all on, Gascoigne. Oh, and Ken Vasey put an arm out and did well. But it was a scintillating run. And he threatened to tiptoe through the lot. Stewart. So we've got everybody back behind the ball. Fennick. Allen. Gascoigne takes over. The crowd were pleased about that. It was going nowhere that attack, but it is now. Walsh. Gascoigne. It really is going somewhere now. It's a brilliant goal. And that's what he can do. The crowd loved it. Gascoigne has turned an attack that was going into a curly sack into one that may drive Tottenham down a main road into the fifth round of the cup. It was an absolutely outstanding piece of individual play, and Venables can smile and he needs to say nothing. 58 minutes gone, and the ground lifted by Paul Gascoigne. It was as if they were inviting him to do something unexpected, and just look at what he did. He played the first ball into Walsh. 
he got the return, he went through the two centre-backs, so wide you thought he couldn't score, and then slid in from an angle. Simpson. Good running from the midfield here by Les Phillips. It's a great run, and he's found Foyle. An excellent goal by Oxford. And the same two players who made the first one possible have reproduced the act. No wonder the fans are pleased with that, and it was a really first-class move, that. Foyle is the scorer again, but Phillips once more provided him with the opportunity. This is the finish, and it was a good, tidy one by Foyle. It came ten minutes from the end, but the work of Phillips in getting into that forward position was really admirable. Gascoigne. Steen gets a challenge in there. This is going to go right to the end, or is it? Fennick. Allen. Still Allen. Good run. He's found Gascoigne. Terrific! That's the finish they wanted in more ways than one, the Spurs fans. Gascoigne has made it 4-2 and scored his second. In fact, he's had a hand in all four. Paul Allen gets some credit there too for opening up the way. And Tottenham now in the 87th minute really should feel their home and dry. It was a bit nervous for a few minutes there at 3-2, but look what happens here. Allen carries the ball into the penalty area and then slides it to Gascoigne, the defenders are wrong-footed, the finish is explosive.